In the last video, I had a comment about the car's movement when it's firing. This was true, the car physics system wasn't paying any attention to all the shootings going on. While in the original game, you could clearly see the suspension effect of the car in that moment. I noticed some weapons like this one don't have this effect, while the others do. I started to fix this issue by trying to apply different amount of force in different directions, which gave me some funny results. Actually, we could see some of the exact thing in the original game. I wanted to test all the possible movements, and after trying a little I could understand them better, but at the end it was still a confusing problem in order to where and how much force should be applied. So once again I decided to have a look at the original game. Huge thanks to this vigilante fan for helping me to run the game simulator on my PC. Make sure to check out his channel. There are a lot of good stuff there, link in the description. He also worked a lot on this game before, so he is a real fan. I played many times and tried to understand how the car physics system works, because this game should be as similar as it can be to the original. It did look like the direction of the force to the car was in reverse to the point where the gun is launching the projectile. Also, the distance of the attached gun from the center of the car could also be effective on the value of the force. So I did that and in the first try I could see a good result. The suspension was working just like the original game. I thought the thing is done and I can move to the next problem but then I saw another issue. If the target is just in front of me, the car wouldn't have a suspension effect and instead would move in a straight line. I tried it with the backside also and it gave me the same results. This was a little confusing for me as I thought the code should work for any kind of direction. So I went back to the original game and this time pay attention how does it look when the target is in the front of the car. Then I found out something. As you can see in the image when the gun is shooting backside of the car is going down. Which in real life should not be happening like this because the gun is in the front side of the car. If the gun was here, it could be right and we could see something like this. But not here, this was new to me and I couldn't find the idea behind this. Then it suddenly hit me, maybe the game is using only few suspension effects and for each position that the target is moving, only use one of them. It could make sense because I could see the exact same effect with the other gun. The PS1 games was meant to be created very optimized, so maybe there are only limited ones here too. I tried my game again and I really liked how it was working. I couldn't expect any other uh, result with the same shooting pattern. Uh, I can implement this exactly like the original game, but I don't know if it's a good idea or not. On the other hand, maybe changing few details like this can suddenly have a huge impact on not feeling the same thing as the original game did. So I need you to help me here with your comments or idea if you think I'm missing something. 